Hi everyone, my preferred scenario on a high time frame is that this is an ABC that is still not finished as wave C did not hit the common wave C target and neither actually did it hit the rare wave C target. The only requirement that so far has passed is that the high of wave A has been taken in this currently one, two, three, and then I think a four and a five yet to come where a wave four is quite often a longer corrective wave, not allowed to go below the 0 0.5 Fibonacci taken from the low of two to the high of three. And that's why the invalidation is at this level level of 20.3k. Now the resistance here is very interesting at the 3A2 which is at about 29.6k but the whole 30 around 30k area is interesting because that has been support over the years and can now act as brilliant resistance before then moving further to the downside. That's why the potential setup I have on my chart is basically the 3A2 in confluence with these lows over here. Stop loss below the invalidation with a little bit of leeway and then moving up to the 3A2 at 29.6. And then eventually that's where potentially depending on the price action that we're going to get and if we're going to get that high can be a short area with the stop loss about uh, above the 0 0.5 as well as the highest target for wave c which is the 1.618 fibonacci taken from the high of a to the low of b and then trade it down in this wave c to wherever it goes it can even go to 13 10k uh, we, we don't have that information just yet now the bearish scenario is that wave 5 is already in as mentioned the minimum requirement is taking the high of a if wave 5 therefore c and therefore the b is in we can expect a move to the downside very impulsive to at least the 15.5k level if not much lower the invalidation in this scenario is taking the high of 5 at 25.3k on the medium time frame, we're looking at this scenario, which is my bullish scenario and also currently my preferred scenario, where at the moment we're in a WXY, WXYXZ, where this wave Z currently only has a wave A, so still needs to go up for a B and then eventually a wave C to the downside. Uh, more locally on the lower time frame, I'll run you through this count, but this is what I'm looking for. Why? Because we have a nice target box over here. We actually have two nice target boxes and you can stop the video if you want to see the levels that I have in these boxes as well as they are mentioned on the right side. But in this blue target box, we have a nice daily, weekly, daily naked point of control. So there's some extra confluence. And in this yellow target box, we have some other confluences here as well. So for a wave A in this Z, I would like to see this blue box hit, then eventually a wave up to the 786 area where I believe there's also a daily, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, there's a daily there as well uh, at about 23.6K. So that could be very nice. And then eventually from there, we can then move down to maybe the yellow target box. So then A, B, C and then that is the end of wave four potentially and then move to the upside. It's either then the end of wave four or that's only the first part of the correction with this then being an A or a W then an X or a B and then eventually a C or a four. Now when I look more locally on how one uh, can trade this then then eventually we don't yet know how impulsive this move to the downside is going to be or a potential wave five or if we're even going to get a wave five. However, in this scenario, entering just above the weekly, daily, daily naked point of control could be a nice area. Stop loss is over here, which is actually below these lows and also below the target area over here, the initial target area for wave Z, which is taken from the high of W over here to the low of W to the high of X with a trend based Fib extension, then toggle on the one to one and the one dot two three six. And those are interesting targets for a wave Z. And as you can see, the blue target box is right inside that bigger target area of wave Z. So that is very interesting to then trade it up to the upside where the daily is as well. And then eventually again to the downside, depending of course on the price action that we get on the upside, because we don't know. Um, one can trade it down in validation is very, very clear and then see how far we can get it to the downside. The more bearish scenario is that this is a leading diagonal. So then this is a three wave in the one, three waves two, eventually three waves in the three, three waves in four, three waves in five. And then this is a bigger one. Then we have a two and then eventually a three for way much uh, for, for way much. Uh, downside to come at least 15.5k levels on the lower time frame this is a scenario that i have where and this is the bullish scenario where um, 
Again, this is then potentially wave A and then B and then C in this wave Z. Now more locally, this can then be counted as a one, two, three, four, five, where wave two was very, very shallow. The three, A two is very shallow for wave two. It's actually more often a common for or a target for a wave B, uh, but it can be a wave two as well. So either this is a three, three, and then a five. So then this is a, a three wave. Then we have a three wave over here and then another three wave to the downside and that could finish Z as well. However, it can also be an impulse one, two, three, four, five and then B, C. So we need some more price information to know what is going on. Um, also, this wave four is very long compared to two at the moment, but that could be possible because rule of alternation wave two is if it's short, then wave four tends to be a lot longer, but we'll see how that works. Uh, in this scenario, if this is a wave four, then this key area is still a very interesting area as well to hit. The usual target for a wave four is in between the 3A2 and the 0 0.5, which, is had, uh, which it has hit over there, as you can see. However, counting this low time frame, especially this horizontal price action is very, very difficult. One could say this is maybe a W, then some sort of an X before you might get a Y. And in the low here of X, you can take these two lows and then eventually move it up. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, we'll have to see. It's very difficult to count on a lower price section. That is what is in my head at the moment, uh, which could be uh, playing out, but of course we'll see. Then eventually trading this, again, there's a very low amount of structure over here. So price could just push to the upside. Uh, but if this is a wave four, then entering at this key area, which could be a little bit of a support and, uh, support resistance flip, can be interesting with the targets mentioned earlier in the blue box. Um, the stop loss above the 618 and 66, because that is a very rare uh, or just not common target at all for a wave four. So if that's the case, we might have have, have a different scenario in front of us. Again, this can also be some sort of a, a wave A, B, C. And then another A, B, C, and eh, whatnot, and then another three with to the downside. So it can also be a three, three, and then eventually another three or five, which is also something I'm looking for. So this is definitely a more risky setup. Whereas uh, in this case, if this is the end of A or potentially the way of the end of Z, of course we need more price action. Then this entry could be a, uh, a lot more safer. In this case, the low is below here. And then one could trade it up to the high of B, or if this is a three, 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 then maybe uh, maybe price goes to the yellow target box, and then this one just moves down to the yellow target box. So yeah, that being said, these are for me the high time frame, low time frame. Oh no, wait, I still have the bearish scenario <laughs> uh, on the uh, low time frame, but it's actually the same as the medium time frame. Sorry about that. So uh, then this is an one, two, three, four, five, and then this is wave one, and then two, three. Uh, you know how it goes. So uh, that's the very bearish one to at least prices of below 15.5k. But now then, the outro. Thanks for watching this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoy watching this. Uh, really appreciate it. I hope you have a great Sunday, a great morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you at my next video at 1 p.m. Central East European time today. Bye bye.